It is fall, it is fall. It is fall. What's up you guys? What is up everybody? Welcome to our long-awaited, fully furnished Nashville house tour. House tour. We say fully furnished, it's done. It's done. I mean, we're perfectionists, so we aren't, we actually like cringe filming this video because we're like, it's not completely done, but it's as done as it's gonna yeah. be. We figured we can do version two at some point. We're just getting it out there. We're filming it. We wanna show you guys the current status. Yeah, let's, we'll walk through each room, probably most of the rooms, I would say. Yeah, we won't ramble so let's just hop right into the tour. I'll let Julie do the tour since uh, she has a terrible hand in, on the camera. It's <laughs> super shaky so I'll I'll record you talk. Okay. All right let's go. Wow. It's raining today by the way. It's like a nice cozy fall day Fall day, and we figured we'd knock the house tour out. So let's jump in. Hey, welcome to our Nashville home. You have that excellent that needs to be picked up. Okay, first thing I just really quickly want to point out in this house, I'm not going to do a very much architectural stuff, but the paint color is um, Simply White by Benjamin Moore. That is on the trim and then also on the walls everywhere. Um, and the floors, I don't know the exact brand, but they are a beautiful seven inch white oak engineered hardwood. I think out of a place out of California, um, but look for white oak, seven inches. Natural. Natural. Yeah, the floors were here when we moved here. It's what really sold us on the house. So pretty. Okay, so when you first walk in, you have Hunter's office here on the left, which we kind of went for a dark, moody theme, like bourbon library vibe. Um, and this is like his total space with all his stuff, collected art, everything. We have a detailed walkthrough tour of this room if you guys like want more details, but. On the left is his office. It's nice and dark and moody, masculine feeling. And then on the opposite side of the hallway, you have my office. Now, my office um, is actually what was previously their formal dining room at the, the previous owners, but we needed two office spaces. It's perfect just to turn this into an office. So I don't really have any like closed doors or anything, which is fine. Um, but all of my colors are super light, bright. I obviously have an obsession with boot clay furniture. So it's an issue um, and I just have a small desk in the corner. Again, we have a full tour on this office if you guys wanna walk through it, but we just have his and hers on opposite sides of the hallway. It's convenient because we work together, so it's like nice having them right across from each other. We can yell at each other yeah. um, for certain things, certain edits, stuff like that. And we've thought about putting doors in here someday if I like when we have kids and if I need it to be like closed off if I can't get any privacy, but until then it's been- It's the perfect uh, framing for some French doors. Yeah, it really is. So. Um, okay, so we have our big entrance of hallway. We have a powder bath here to the left and we actually had an artist, Cater Boley, do a custom mural in this bathroom. We still want to finish out this bathroom with like new fixtures and stuff like that, but um, turned out really cool. He actually came to our house and painted that on the walls. Tall closet, lots of coats in there. We will be needing pretty quick here. Okay, so this is like the entry hallway and opens up into the living room, which we love. It's kind of like a half open concept. The kitchen is like wraps right around, but I like that it's not fully open um, like in our last house. It just, the compartmentalizes felt a little bit cozier in this house, so we really like that. Um, we got these beautiful couches from Six Penny. We love them so much. We did two double facing. We've had we played around with a lot of formations in this living room. We've had a bunch of different couches, a sectional. There's really like so many different things you can do, but this is where it's at right now. So the two couches from Six Penny, they are identical. It is the Belgian oat flax, I think, fabric. I'll put the details down below in the description. Um, but we've loved the couches, definitely worth it. They're very comfortable. I've gotten a lot of questions on those, like is it worth the money, was it worth the weight? Yes, I think so, um, we've loved them. I think the fabric feels super high quality. 
Um, so we just like to double face them, and then we played around with like two chairs here. We are always moving around our living room, so I would expect to see this changed up soon. It's our fourth or fifth arrangement yeah. in the past year and a half. But we're crazy and love furniture, yeah. so we did that. Vintage stools, this table's from RH, and we just have collected all of our fun books and antiques and fun quirky items that Hunter and I love to decorate the shelves. Um, our favorite thing about this room is that we have a wood burning fireplace and we burn so many fires, especially in the winter. I'm like obsessed with them. So I'll burn one every morning, every night. So cozy. That's been such a fun feature to have in this house. We love it. Okay. So turning around from the living room, the dining and kitchen is right across from it. So we have our little casual dining space here. Um, which is where we eat every single meal. We didn't even really need the formal dining room, which is why, again, we made it um, my office. So we have this antique table. Um, these chairs are custom. We got them out of LA and chose the wood and the fabric, and we love the vibe of this. I think it's just perfect. Um, and this fun light fixture from France and Son. I love it. I like the really like modern flush mount with all this furniture, I think it goes really well together. All of our rugs, by the way, are pretty much vintage, um, except this one I can link in the living room, the fuzzy one. It's like a Moroccan shad rug. It's really like warm and cozy on your feet when you're like going to sit on the couch at night. Okay, our kitchen. So we love our kitchen. It has been such a great kitchen. I think the best thing about it is probably the builders. They went with like probably a three inch chunk and I just feel like it makes it look so luxurious and everyone that comes over, over to our house notices this and they're like, okay, next time I do my kitchen, I wanna like do a really thick slab and it just looks, yeah, super luxe and cool. Um, I think at some point we would love to paint the cabinets in here and perhaps switch out the hardware. It's just nice and clean though right now off-white cabinets, um, they don't bother us, like everything's just fresh, white, we like the tile, everything, um, and it's been a really great quick kitchen. We swapped out these actually, they were different light fixtures when we moved in, but these are from Restoration Hardware, um, use a nice clean like glass pen pendant. Hard and to keep clean though, they're a little dusty right now. Really hard to keep clean, like yeah, but they do look good. Um, and our all of our appliances we've been obsessed with in this house which we didn't build this house it was already there was somebody that lived here once before us but we just loved everything that they did um the thermidor professional stove we're obsessed with we love this stove so much it's really nice nice big fridge and freezer we love and it's been super functional and just really easy to cook in and then over here right on the other side of my office we have a little breakfast, uh, coffee bar, and our pantry, which is super convenient. We have some wine storage, an ice maker, which Hunter and I has changed our life. We're so spoiled now with an ice maker. We'll never go back. We also put a full water filter system throughout the house, so you can basically get bottled water quality out of like the shower if you want. Any faucet will give you super clean filtered water, so that plus having ice machine with filtered ice is just the best. And then our pantry, which is not super organized right now. I need to, I organize it like every couple months when it gets out of control, but it's perfect size. We really don't need any more space than this. Um, and our odd fact about our house is that our microwave is actually in our pantry because they don't have a microwave built out there, but it hasn't been like annoying. We don't use it very often no. and when we do, you just come in the pantry? Yeah, it's been fine. So, anyways, that's our pantry. It needs a little tidy up, but that's the reality. And then right off of the kitchen, we obviously have a little exit into the garage, which the cars are there, and then our laundry room with this really fun kind of sliding barn door. I feel like this is a really good execution of a door like this. It like looks modern. It's not too like country. I really like it. Um, and this is our little laundry room, which is perfect size. Um, I got the same washer and dryer as our last house because I love these washer and dryers the best ever. And I've gotten a lot of people to buy them. They're so great. Um, a nice little folding station, um, perfect amount of storage. And then we keep like all of our towels and, you know, light bulbs and stuff in here. Um, 
And this was actually this little RH table we had in our last house as a console table and it fit perfectly right here just as some extra folding space and I usually store folded laundry here too just for us to pick up and bring into our room. And this mirror is Zara home. This was an entryway of our old house. So we try to like repurpose things wherever we can. Um, we got this little cute hook to hang our keys from when we come from the garage. It's great. This room I'm not going to show you because it's our storage room. It's our catch-all room. But basically... You can show a little peek. Yeah. This is just real life. It was, right? It's a bedroom. There's a bathroom in there. It's a bedroom. I think essentially it, um, it was the previous owner's, their nursery, which is really nice because it's across the hallway from the primary. So if you're like breastfeeding or when you have a newborn, would be really convenient. For us right now, we're using it as a storage closet basically. So that's what that is. It's very unfinished though. And then we have these cute little cubbies um, when you walk in. I, you see these in a lot of houses, but it pretty much ends up being just a catch-all for like our bags and hats, bookers, frisbees, his toys. It's kind of like the bookers on a little bit. Um, and we just hang a bunch of stuff. It's all there. the stuff we have that we use when we take like booker on walks. On a walk and stuff because we're always exiting out that way. So convenient. So then right off of the kitchen and dining, we have a cute little sitting porch, which is really sweet. But I actually took a nap out here today, so sorry. I need to like fluff this up a little bit. Um, but perfect little sitting porch. It's screened in in the south. That's really common just because you get a lot of bugs and stuff. Um, so it's nice to come out here, get some fresh air. You can mount a TV up here, watch football, whatever. But it's just nice to like get in the weather without having to be, you know, around the bugs and everything. All of our furniture is from our uh, restoration hardware, including the olive tree and pots. Um, and this light fixture actually used to be in the dining eating space and Hunter had the idea of bringing it outside. So we brought it out here and I think it made it feel really cozy and homey. It's cute. I would love to like redo this porch and make it like really warm, but that's a project for spring, I think. Okay. So there's a little door off of the porch that goes out into an uncovered space. And we have our vintage table from our last house. If you guys have been following for a while, you probably remember this table. Um, it's teak, so it's meant to, to get weathered and wet and everything, so don't panic. Um, we got it from Bali off of a cellar on Craigslist like 10 years ago, and we've kept the table ever since. So it's our outdoor eating table up on this uh, porch area. Really, that's it for out here, but you have a staircase that goes down to our yard, which is pretty much just blank right now. We've talked about maybe landscaping it, putting putting in a pool someday, um, but just grass. And we'll go play with Booker down there right now. It's nice to have the extra space, but we don't do like a ton down there. Okay, welcome to our primary bedroom. There's not much to say about this. You've probably seen this a ton over on our Instagram. I post pictures of it all the time. It's just really neutral. We have this bed frame from Restoration Hardware. It's been such a great bed frame. You never get sick of it. it would go in a lot of different style houses um, with some boucle chairs. And we found those nightstands actually at Round ta uh, Round Table Round Top. It is an antique fair in Round Top, Texas. I'm sure you guys have heard about it. Um, and we like mixing a little bit of modern with vintage, so the contrast looks really good. This piece is also vintage, and this is restoration hardware, and this has been a good dresser. Hunter and I, like, need to have dresser wherever we are because we, like, are just people that need drawers for stuff. I, some people, like, have everything in their closet, but we can't do that, so it's really hard to, like, make dressers nice and decorate them well, but I just have, like, a box of perfumes on the top, and we end up covering this in, like, clothes and purses and stuff. Booker sleeps right here, so we have his little dog bed here. This is from Amazon. Um, I can't remember where this lamp is from. I think France and Son, or I'll link it. I can't remember, but I know I have the link. Um, and our lamps are Serena and Lily, I'm pretty sure. All of the drapes, by the way, uh, were custom for the whole house. So I think that is like my number one recommendation if you are looking for an area to invest in in your home is custom drapery. It really is the first house we've ever done it in and it just literally made it look so elevated, so luxurious and like warm and cozy. It was worth every penny. It's a little bit more expensive, but so worth it. I don't even remember what our life was like 
prior to the drapes. Oh yeah, it just pulls it all together. It looks like you had like an interior designer do your house, just the, just having drapes. It's just so nice. So this piece, um, we actually, there was a couple things we thought about doing with this corner, but I really needed a place to like do my makeup and we saw this piece and we were like, okay, it's almost the exact measurement of this little slot. Um, and it has a ton of drawers and so I have all like my makeup and beauty products in here so I'll pull up like a stool and do my makeup right in front of the window um, it's just nice for extra storage and we can also like put stuff on top I end up putting like laundry on here half of the time which is kind of dangerous but it's been a really good like solve for that spot for now we also in this house um, went with all like frame TVs for the most part I think we have them in a couple rooms and then we used like older TVs in other guest rooms but we love that because you can switch out the artwork you can change it as many times as you want you can buy new artwork and it ends up looking just like a piece of art on the wall instead of an actual TV which is really cool so we love that. Highly recommend the frame TV. Some people have asked about that. And I it's the Samsung that. frame. We'll link it down below. Yes, yes. Okay, here is our primary bathroom. Um, and yeah, not much to this. This is actually a space that Hunter and I would love to redo at some point. Um, I don't know. We just want to like make it warmer, switch out tiles, paint colors, maybe add some wood. I would love to like a wood ceiling, uh, paneling, just like make it a little bit cozier. It's um, not our dream bathroom, but it is such a nice bathroom and we've loved it. We have this fun little um, vintage coat hook that Hunter picked out. We throw all of our towels on there. Hunter puts his hats on there <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> our shower and then our closet, which is right off the bathroom. And this has ended up being the perfect size closet for Hunter and I. I don't think we really need any more space than this. I probably actually need to get rid of like half of my clothes. My stuff is on this half, his stuff on that half. I obviously have a lot more um, and I need to do a clean out, but it's the perfect closet and perfect amount of space, I think. For our bathroom counters, um, we try to keep it pretty clean just because it can get cluttery. We have, have electric toothbrushes, which we're ride or die for. Those just kind of have to stay on the counter even though they're not that cute. Um, and then we have this little stool. Um, I think I found this at Home Goods, and we keep all of our like daily fragrances on here, some colognes. So that's a nice little central point to break up all the white space. Um, and then our tub, which I am heading into winter, so I'm taking baths almost nightly, which is so nice. Um, this nice little wood shelf, and I sometimes have this look way nicer with like flowers and stuff like that, but I just have like my CBD bath salts, some products, a candle, um, and this artwork, which is a vintage piece from our last house. Okay, and then back out in the hallway, this is actually sort of like our entryway landing space, which I didn't really show you guys. Um, and we love it. I always switch out the foliage for different seasons. I literally just try to cut down tree branches from like the trees in our yard. Um, and right now we have like all the pretty fall colors. So it looks so good. I just keep them as tall as possible in this huge vessel. This is, um, I think we got it at an antique store. Same with this piece. All of this is pretty much uh, antique, but the mirrors we have just leaning up against behind just really elongates it. It looks really pretty. And those I think are one King's Lane. I'll link them down below. And now we're gonna go upstairs. On the way up the stairs in the landing space, we have a commission piece by Cater Bully, which we had him do when he did the bathroom. Um, and we wanted something to just like take up this huge massive wall because we were like, how else are we gonna fill that? So we kind of had him do it on four separate canvases and space them out like two inches apart from each other. So you could just keep them all close together, but we decided to put some space in between them. So you could just take one and put it in a bedroom if you wanted that way. It's kind of like flexible, I guess. Um, so that's fun. So our upstairs is really cute. We actually don't like are up here a lot, except when our guests are in town, which is very handy when we have guests in town because there is one, two, three bedrooms up here. So um, we actually just had Hunter's family here. Every room was taken and it just flowed really well when you actually have guests here. So this little landing space, we have um, an antique piece and mirror. Um, I think we found this at Round Top? Yep. Yes, both of them. And when you walk past that, we have this fun little like 
walk-up space that could be like a sitting nook, it could be like a little library, really whatever you wanted to make it, but um, we actually have it as sort of like a little art painting studio. Um, so we have some art supplies back here and a little desk. Um, so we've done some painting up here and it's also convenient for guests if they need to bring their laptop and work when they're visiting. It's like a nice little kind of office space. So we use it for both of those. This desk we have is vintage and like I said, it's really functional for if guests are here and they need to work, um, it kind of is a dual use desk. Um, this art piece we actually had in our Texas house. It is by Mackenzie. We'll put her Instagram down below. She does custom artwork. Um, so we have that there. And over here we have some of my um, grandmother's artwork and books. She was a watercolor artist. She's passed away now, but I really wanted to like have some of her stuff. So that's kind of special to have here in like, our little art studio and it's a good little inspiration. This chair was a find from Home Goods. You guys probably saw this in a video shopping. I can't remember when we got these chairs, but it was like um, a year ago. Yeah, it's super big, but I love these chairs. And so we have one in here. It's just like a nice little sitting space. And then up here, there's a cute little small sitting porch, which guests can come out and sit when they're visiting. Um, we don't come up here a ton, but it is cool at nighttime. When you look out, you can see like the Nashville skyline in like the distance, which is really cool. Um, so cute little sitting porch would be good for tanning too. This is our primary suite on the second floor, which is like our main guest room for when parents and people come into town. Um, we have a full tour of this bedroom. It was our favorite to decorate. Um, so that's on the channel. I'm not gonna break down everything, but if you guys want more details, we will put it down below. But we love this room, it's so special. It's really cool, it just has lots of little like uh, ceiling details, lots of sitting spaces. It's so big. Um, we have a nice fun canopy bed in here, which Hunter and I are sometimes jealous of. We're like, why don't we put this in our room? But it's super luxurious and cozy and um, our guests always love staying in here. So such a fun room, we had fun decorating it. The last two bedrooms that we'll show you guys um, are kind of just like the catch-all for all of our furniture from our previous house that needed spaces. So I technically, we haven't really like fully done these rooms um, aesthetically or like the way that we would design them. They're kind of just like catch-alls, but they still look cute and good way to use like all the rest of our stuff. Um, so any old bedding that we like ha aren't using on our bed anymore or furniture we have put in here you probably saw these nightstands and lamps in our last house so we repurpose everything as we can and this bedroom actually has my favorite bathroom in the house it's so cute so i want to show you guys it's just a really cute bathroom it almost reminds me of like a little cottage bathroom it has like a slanted ceiling i love the little build outs i don't know it's just something about it feels really cozy and warm and I love this artwork that we put in here. It's really cute. Um, I don't know, it's just a cute little bathroom. If you can tell the vibe, I like it. And the last bedroom, definitely a catch-all. It kind of doesn't even really make sense uh, aesthetically, but this is it. This is our old dresser from our last house from restoration. It was a great dresser, put it in here. Um, bed frame is from Living Spaces, the famous home goods chairs. Um, yeah, so it's just kind of like a collected little area, but it's still cozy and cute. And they also have their own little bathroom in this bedroom, which is really cute. Simple. Actually, I like the tile in here a lot. It's really cute. Last thing upstairs, right by the um, stairway, is our linen closet. And I've actually kept this pretty organized, so I will show it. Um, we just keep all of our extra pillows, bedding here, stuff like that, um, sheets, Christmas sheets, which is really helpful. Okay, last floor of the house is our like basement or kind of like media game room type of situation. Um, so the previous owners had this nice big projector screen here to like watch movies and football games. So this is our sectional from our last house. It was in our living room, but it doesn't quite fit up there. So it's perfect down here. We'll come down here on like Sundays and bundle up or when we have parties, a lot of people over and sit on the couch. 
right behind that we have um this was our old breakfast table in our other house and it's been perfect for like again when we have parties extra seating space or playing games it's kind of just like a little game table that we have down here for extra room everything in this room is actually our exact old setup from our last house so restoration hardware chairs and table and then those chairs were in my last office but they looked good down here with yeah. Everything um, else. And this couch is actually a like dupe for the cloud couch, which um, is by Monarch Sofas, and we actually have a full video on this couch and everything, all the info on our channel. But it's been a great, great couch. Over to the right is this fun little bar area that really comes in handy when we're hosting. Hunter and I have talked about some ideas, like building out a little bar here, like a like a little you know standalone bar. Um, just to make the space like even more functional for when we have people over, but it's really cute. We had my 30th birthday down here and they put a bar here and it worked perfectly. So we have, we have a full video on that birthday party if you want to see like how we decorated down here and everything. Um, and then we got these beautiful couches from Jenny Kane, which we love. Um, and I actually was going to put them in my office, but they ended up being too big. I don't know how I mismeasured or something. So we needed extra seating down here. So we just put them face to face to each other and have an extra little seating area. Um, cause believe it or not, it fills up pretty quick when you have like a lot of people over. So that's great. There's a nice little full bathroom down here. So with a shower, towels, everything, which is great. In here, we have our sort of like gym area, which we would love to kind of remodel at some point to just make a little bit more functional. We have our tonal machine down here. Um, we have a rower, which just kind of pull out when we use it, kind of put it up against the wall whenever you're not using it, which is really convenient. And then out in this little garage, we have our Peloton tread, next to Hunter's woodshop tools and my little trampoline which i love so much if you guys have never done like trampoline fitness it's so much fun i love it um i was doing some stretching the other day so yeah ideally we would like to kind of make the gym one area where everything could fit but right now we just kind of have it broken out into the garage because it's just the way that it works but that's okay if you're confused where this goes to so this literally the door rolls up and you're just right in the backyard like on the ground level so this is like the bottom floor of the house and then this little spot over here um i think they used sort of as a utility room like if you're working in the yard there's a doggy door you can like wash your hands stuff like that we actually haven't really used this a ton but we do talk about kind of uh, clearing this out to make like one full gym just because we don't really use that space So I think we might end up doing that someday, but we got to get on that project But this door is really nice if you have a dog or something or kids because it locks on the bottom and then you can You know that's the top swinging half, which is really great Alrighty, that is it you guys there it is our full house tour. Finally got it up We haven't done a house tour since the empty house tour when we yeah. first moved in so mm -hmm. if you want to see that We'll link that down below. We'll link all the videos down below that we talked about, like the office tours, the primary suite, uh, guest suite upstairs, yep. that kind of stuff, as well as link everything we talked about in this yeah, video. Yeah, I'll link as much stuff as we, as we can. A lot of it is vintage, so I'll just do Unlinkable. anything that yeah. is linkable. Yeah. Apologize for the delay, but we hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And if you guys are new, feel free to subscribe, stick around. We would love to hang out with you, and we'll see you guys soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.